a header and press the UR C++ tutorial the, uh, 2010 Express Edition uh, this, this software can be uh, downloaded from um, Microsoft web page which is free when you register it takes about five minutes to or even less to register and you can use it um, how long however long you like because it's free um, and this tutorial will show you uh, how the software looks like also its controls so um, things like that and a bit of the code a uh, very simple code I will just show you to introduce you to the uh, coding style of the C++ and um, if you if you are really lazy I will just um, give you some kind of uh, what is this notepad I will give you this link for the download that's the link where you can download the visual um, C++ 2010 Express Edition you just go through the procedure of downloading that's it it's from um, Microsoft you can see it's not some, some kind of dodgy uh, link so this will be posted later on on my webpage if you want it doesn't matter now okay so back to the back to the um, tutorial as you can see when you open the program here you have a start page you can say just to not show it you can select this one so it will not show this page you can close it and to create new project you can choose this button or you can either go new file project you can use button doesn't matter now okay so we will have this window with couple of types of uh, projects you can make and applications we will use for uh, for most of our tutorials uh, which are basic now we will use win32 uh, console application which is this one highlighted and later on uh, after the basics are done we will use windows form application probably so that we will program on the form and stuff like this and uh, when you select this uh, choose a name click OK you will have another window with uh, application wizard and before you finish it before you click finish click next and select empty project and um, if you don't select empty project you will have a couple of um, files inside there which are um, I will say useless we, we, we don't need them so it is better if you create empty project and add um, files and stuff like this yourself and um, leave this as it is because it's console application it's all right and click finish you have in the solution explorer you can see it's here uh, empty uh, folders that's your um, project and in source folder file or source file and uh, click on add click on a um, mouse click and add a new item you will have another window that's how we create um that's how was the, the, the this one is was the project this one is the file which we will program on so as you can see we have couple of them and uh, the one we will program on is c++ file um, later on probably we will use this one but that's later on uh, for now just c++ file select this and give it a name for example add and we have our file create created now inside this for uh, inside this file we can program we can put our uh, code and run it with the use of this button when I click it it will build up the program if there is something of course it will build it up and show you the uh, program itself on the Windows uh, console and now before I show you the code I will, sh I will just introduce you to other uh, um, buttons and controls you can see here most of them are useless for us because it is basic and for example extension manager 
we will not use this start page not useful for now toolboxes and um, not useful for now and um, property window and um, yeah it's useful if you use as i said those are useful most of them when you use a uh, windows um form application because toolbox you have some kind of tools and stuff like this so for now don't worry about this one up to here you don't need to worry about this this is the run button so you start the program the program will first debug and then you will see the output of the of the program and uh, copy paste cuts uh, save all uh, save one save a specific file open add a new item and create new project and those are also not needed for us today this is output as you can see i have build starts and stuff like this it will show what the program does at the specific moment and uh, it will build it and the procedures how does it build and at the end you will have does it build it what time it's uh, how many times skipped uh, up to date uh, failed and succeed stuff like this uh, this is our main window we will use it for the coding and um, and first of all we will always import libraries so libraries and uh, to import library we need to have an ashtray uh, and include uh, include and io stream this one is the basic um library this library allows us to import and uh, input and output um, stuff in our program without it we we would we wouldn't be able to output anything or input anything so it is crucial to have it also another one we, which we need and we will use is conio h conio dot h and this time um, this one allows us to display characters and display um, stuff like numbers and stuff like this so you will see actual text uh, on the console those two libraries are crucial and we will uh, always declare them here at the beginning and also we need to add something like this we will use um, namespace standard namespace for the characters and stuff like this so um, that's that's how we do the libraries and this one now we can create after after we after we did this and uh, include our libraries and uh, we can do our main so how to create a main we have a couple of um, types of main we can have uh, a numeric main for example or, or string main and stuff like this and uh, for this for this exercise today I will use void which is empty and it's nothing type empty like and um, we can use for example integer so int uh, or um, double I think yeah you can use double and you can use string I don't know I never used string I think uh, for the main mostly int mains or, or void so I will use void today void main uh, brackets and open and close brackets that's how our main looks like inside between those two brackets we input our code so that's how it looks like that's the beginning of the program basically you see it and uh, in most of the tutorials that's how the program will look like at the beginning because i will not create this each time i i run the i run the tutorial it will be already created so you can you can create on your own it's very simple procedure um inside we can put the code and very simple code is output so c out and two arrows to the left and for example some kind of string like hi and we close it with the semicolon and um, you have this uh, output now but if I run this you will see the window for a second but it will disappear so 
it will disappear instant you just it will appear and disappear you can see it but what what you need to do to stop this uh, you need to use actually um, the kernel H which is get get um, characteristics so get sketch something like call it and um, this way when I press uh, start debugging you see the program uh, builds up you will have the window stays there it doesn't close so it stays there and displays the output or ask for the input later on that will be shown and um, in this case it's output high and the window stays until we close it or press a button I think you can press a button yeah or you press something on the keyboard um, this is the simple way this is the simplest the simplest program I can ever think of um, also I can show you why we need those two because I explain uh, what they do but if I delete this one you will see see out doesn't work it's an uh, error and when I run this I will have a message the about the, uh, the word builds error so it's wrong which we which means we need this for the output and also Kanye H if I delete this you will see the gauge doesn't work so even if I run it it doesn't work so we need those two those two are crucial libraries and uh, still um, more libraries will be declared as I said um, more libraries will be declared later on in, f uh, in future tutorials so that uh, we will use other things from different libraries. I think that's it for this tutorial. Um, watch my next tutorial on the on Visual C++ 2010 for for more programs and and more info about those things. And uh, I will see you next tutorial. Also visit my uh, web page and YouTube channel if you like it. Subscribe. And I hope you liked it, and you will like future tutorials as well. Uh, and I will see you next tutorial. Bye.